Hey, you badass business owners. Today, we're going to talk about cash flow and what it means in your small business. We're not going to go super in depth. We're going to cover the high level overview. So this way you understand the concept of cash flow and your small business. Let's do this. All right, cash flow. Basically, cash flow is the flow of money through your business. Basically, money flows into your business and money flows out of your business. And cash flow is all about the money and what it's doing. Let's take a closer look at this. For example, let's make it simple. Let's go to your personal cash flow. This will help some of you understand. You have a job or you have a business and you take in money through that job. Then you turn around and you take that money and you pay your mortgage, your bills, your rent, uh, your leisure activities, anything that you want to do. And then if you're lucky and there's more money left over, it flows flows right into savings or retirement. So that's the flow of money for you personally. Well, your business is no different. Your business is going to have money that comes in through those sales like we talked about. You're going to pay for your cost of goods, your materials, your ingredients, the bills you have, your other expenses, your people, anyone you've hired. And then at the end of the day, you're going to have some profit. And then with that profit, you're going to do stuff with it like retained earnings, buy more merchandise or product for your business, or you're going to invest it, or you're going to pay the owner. So either way, your money is flowing through the business in various areas. And that's basically what cash flow is talking about. Now you can have positive or negative cash flow. Positive cash flow means there's money left over at the end of the day. You basically take in more than what you sell and you have negative cash flow when you just don't have enough money coming in to cover the needs of the business. Now cash flows into your business three basic ways. For the vast majority of small business owners, it's going to be under the operating activities. Let's take a look at what all three of these are so you at least understand if it come up. Operating activities are basically any of the day-to-day activities that you do for running the business. Sales come in, bills get paid, people get paid. And at the end of the day, hopefully there's some profit for you to be able to make owner's wages or reinvest back into the business. These are just general operating activities. Now, when you hear investing activities, it's not just like investing in the stock market. It is basically where you take money and you invest it to make more money. And this could be something as simple as if you have a carpet business, you go out and you invest in buying carpet because you want to have the potential to make sales with the carpet that you invest. So while it does overlap with the first one, it's a different type of way of saying that you're investing the money to create more sales. In this case, you might buy products and materials, investing with the hopes that you're going to turn it into something different. Now, financing activities is, for example, if you borrow money because you want to make more sales, you need to borrow money in order to pay your bills to to help offset some of that cash flow or to invest and buy equipment or something like this. Now, there's some asterisks on this because this one can get into a little bit more detailed with stocks and dividends and everything else, but you don't really do that in the vast majority of carpet businesses, nail salons, things like that. So I I include it, but the main thing is when you're borrowing money, this is one of those activities in which you are participating in, but it's not as common. Now, you're probably wondering yourself going, Tammy, this kind of sounds a little bit like profits and cash flow. Are they the same? Are they different? Well, they're very different. And it's just different ways of talking about the money in your business. When you're talking about profits or net profits, net income is basically the profit a company has earned at the end of a period of time. So when we talk about sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits, that's what we're talking about when it comes to profits, okay? It's the income you make at the end of the day. It's basically what's left. Um, It's a finite number, if you will. You made X or you made Y. Now, when you're looking at cash flow, cash flow is basically following the money in and out of the business, how it comes in, where it goes, what's it spent on, stuff like that. Here's another way to look at that. When you're talking about profits, you could say that the business made $5,000 in profits last month. But when you're talking cash flow, you can say that the company needed $20,000 to come in and cover all of the business needs. So basically, you needed $20,000 for the business to be able to cash flow positive in order to make some money. So they're two totally different things. Uh, I know it sometimes can get confusing. The main things that you need to remember is this. How much money do you need to run your business day to day? What is your cash flow needs? Do you need $10,000 to run your business? $2,000? fifty thousand dollars obviously the bigger the business the more money that comes in and goes out it needs to be a higher number but you need to know what your basic number is because some months are going to be higher than others but there's always a bottom number that you need and you want to make sure that you're using your money effectively to drive more sales and more profits because as we talked about with those activities you're trying to create more sales with the money you have it's all about leveraging the money you have to be able to create more money 
at the end of the day. All right, so cash flow is just the flow of money in and out of your business and understanding how much you need in order to be able to run that business. So let me ask you a question. What is your business's cash flow? Do you know what that number is? And by the way, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll continue to teach you different small lessons on running your small business. This is all about helping you out to become that badass business owner that I know each and every one of you are.